so hello guys so now we are going to start with one theory topic that is feedback is used to improve the stability in a following way you can say the advantages of negative feedback or one more question is there how negative feedback improves the stability this question can be asked in many ways so the answer is same how it can improve the stability it can improve the stability in a different ways suppose we have to design an amplifier of gain a1 is required okay so we start by designing the amplifier of gain a2 which should be d into a where d is a large number so we always design by considering the feedback factor okay so feedback is now introduced to divide the gain by the factor d we can say we are designing by taking care that factor d and the stability will be improved by the same factor d as the gain is reduced by this factor and also the other parameters which are improved they are improving by the factor d one of the improvement is in the frequency frequency distortion okay so we are dealing with this frequency distortion means if the feedback network does not contain reactive element means reactive element means inductor and capacitor which are depending on the frequency means agar feedback network may say resistance hoga resistance is not a function of frequency then we can say that the overall gain is not a function of frequency frequency agar distortion ho raha hai to wo hoga we cannot control it under these circumstances a substantial reduction in frequency and phase is obtained as we can say that the gain feedback is inversely proportional to the beta that is the gain of feedback network if a frequency selective feedback network is used means inductor or capacitor agar use kiya hai so that beta depends on the frequency so by reducing the gain beta we can increase the feedback gain so the amplification may depend upon the frequency so this thing can be controlled or this advantage is only possible when we are using feedback network okay next is non linear distortion non linear distortion means to study the effect of negative feedback on the distortion just consider that the input signal is sine wave so the distortion consists simply of second harmonics first harmonics is your main function second harmonics is there. the signal generated with the active devices we assume that the second harmonic component in the absence of feedback is equal to beta 2 because of effect of feedback a component beta 2 into f actually appears in the output so this type of negative non linear distortions by returning back to the amplifier it again gets amplified the process gets smooth in this way this distortions can be reduced next reduction is noise reduction of noise means the noise introduced in an amplifier is divided by the factor d if the feedback is employed सो so, डी रहने से अपने को गेन तो कम होता ही है गेन सपोज हंड्रेड है और तुम्हारा डी का वैल्यू फाइव है तो गेन तो कम हो के ट्वेंटी होगा बट जो नॉइस का वैल्यू है वो तो बहुत कम होता है नॉइ अगर ओरिजिनल गेन हंड्रेड है तो नॉइस तो वन रहेगा एंड इफ इट इज़ ऑल्सो डिवाइडेड बाई डी दैट मीज वन बाई ट्वेंटी इसका वैल्यू तो पॉइंट ज़ीरो सब चीज आ जाएगा ओके सो दैट वैल्यू इज पॉइंट ज़ीरो फाइव so if d is much larger than unity this would see to represent the considerable reduction in the output noise so this is one of the advantage or how the reduction of noise is achieved by using feedback now we will check some advantages and disadvantages of negative feedback one of the advantage when any increase in the output signal results in feedback signal so it causes the negative feedback means any increase in the output signal results in a feedback 
टू द इनपुट इन सच अ वे टू कॉज डिक्रीज इन द आउटपुट मीन्स अगर तुम्हारा आउटपुट फीडबैक की वजह से कम हो रहा है सो इट इज़ कंसिडर्ड एज नेगेटिव फीडबैक ओके सो वॉट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ नेगेटिव फीडबैक इन केस ऑफ एनी ऑफ द फोर बेसिक एम्पलीफायर देर मे बी एम्प्रूवमेंट बाय प्रॉपर यूज ऑफ नेगेटिव फीडबैक सच एज हाई इनपुट इम्पोर्टेंस कैन बी अचीव इन केस ऑफ वोल्टेज एम्पलीफायर कैन बी मेड हायर एंड इट्स आउटपुट इम्पोर्टेंस कैन बी मेड लोअर बाई यूजिंग दिस फीडबैक इन केस ऑफ transconductance we need both input and output as high so by using a proper feedback both input and output impedance can be achieved as high as possible moving on to the next advantage the transfer gain af can be stabilized against variation of h or hybrid pi parameters so these are the parameters of dgt small signal or high frequency model of the transistor the parameters of the other devices used in the amplifier so this type of feedback negative feedback stabilizes the variation of hybrid and hybrid pi parameters third one the significant improvement in the frequency response and it linearizes the operation of feedback amplifier as compared to the amplifier without feedback or we can say that open loop amplifier what are the disadvantage as far as disadvantage is considered i can see only one disadvantage and that is the reduction in the gain of amplifier without feedback the gain is high but with feedback gain is low but on the compromise point of view we can say gain is compromised but along with this we are having much advantages suppose we are getting improvement in the input and output impedance bandwidth stability noise is reduces frequency distortion reduction is okay so there are lot of advantages as compared to the disadvantage second disadvantage is a negative feedback amplifier become unstable and break into oscillations if proper precautions are not taken the explanation for this means there is a negative feedback that means input and feedback both must be out of phase 180 degree phase shift hona chahiye suppose wo phase shift thoda badh jata hai 270 ke upar nikal gaya that means it is close to the 360 aur अगर कम हो गया और वो ज़ीरो के आसपास आ गया सो दैट नेगेटिव फीडबैक टर्न्स इनटू पॉजिटिव फीडबैक एंड दैट एम्पलीफायर नेगेटिव एम्पलीफायर सर्किट टर्न्स इनटू ऑसिलेटर एंड इट प्रोवाइड्स यू ऑसिलेशन इफ प्रॉपर प्रिकॉशंस आर नॉट टेकन सो एज अ समरी आई कैन से दैट देर आर वेरियस एडवांटेजेस एंड फ्यू डिसएडवाटेजेज ऑफ नेगेटिव फीडबैक ओके स्टेबिलिटी इम्प्रूव गेन reduces input impedance improves output impedance improves bandwidth improves noise reduced so there are various points you can choose your point as advantage and disadvantage so this is the end of our discussion on advantages and disadvantages next we will start with the analysis of negative feedback thank you